I'd love to thank our principal sponsors for today, Apple, Dell Technologies, and Canon, um, for their continued support and commitment to finding improved solutions in e-waste management. Today, the topic of the webinar is harnessing the power, the crucial role of public institutions in e-waste collection. I think again a very relevant topic, um, purely given the role that public institutions play, a in setting up of regulation, regulatory and policy frameworks, b in implementing the existing rules and regulations in the country, c just merely for the kind of reach that these organizations have, um, the kind of influence that they have as well. It's also crucial uh, is for the public uh, institutions to largely see the role when it comes to, especially on decision making, which is like when we talk about uh, the short-lived you know, obsolescence rates of the product. So that's something because that completely contrasts to a circular economy. We talk about still disposal of an equipment which is in a given lifetime because there are updates, there are uh, software updates and other. So how do you actually transition from a resource intensive, from looking from where you require more and more no? because of the short-lived electronic products, you actually require replacement. See, there are two big uh, challenges in the e waste scenario in our country. One is that e-waste is handled by informal sector predominantly, that too in a very rudimentary way. And uh, we also know that uh, the technology is currently for recycling, particularly for recovering the precious materials, precious metals, that is also not there. Therefore, most of what is even handpicked by, you know, informal sector, etc. After some levels of, uh, of kind of uh, refining, it is exported to other countries. The problem is, how do you ensure that wastes are collected. That was the first. So the first thing is to get the electronic waste segregated from the legacy waste. The second thing is to ensure that uh, e-waste is collected and uh, they are properly inventorized. The second we realize that it's very important for us to first sensitize our students. We realize that students also um, understand the relevance of uh, e-waste recycling only when we give them examples of how it actually affects their own lives. So, तमाम चीजें ऐसी हैं जो कि उस पर हम भी अनभिज्ञ हैं जो कि उसको एवेंडर्स के माध्यम से और ईवेस्ट के कलेक्शन डिपर्विसर और प्रोड्यूसर इस तरह के सभी लोगों को बताने की जरूरत है कि हम कैसे इसका डिस्पोजल करेंगे। We are helping the Karnataka State Pollution Control Board to you know carry out the inventorization of the e-waste in the state of Karnataka. In fact, that project has been taken up and uh, we connected to the producers, manufacturers, uh, the bulk consumers uh, and also retailers and uh, other stakeholders uh, who are uh, you know, potential uh, generators of e-waste. And uh, we try to understand the issues connected with the uh, various stakeholders with regard to the effective implementation of the e-waste rules. Put it in one line, it would be we need to shift from waste management to now starting starting to look at the resources that can be mined from these urban mines that we have. I'd so, like to um, pay our gratitude to our principal sponsors, Apple, Dell Technologies and Canon for supporting us with this discussion.